This is a quick update video on using the Align provided uh, swash leveler with the T-Rex 700X. I had previously used my True Blood Engineering one since the Align one is probably more readily available to most of the T-Rex 700X customers I thought I would redo this. Where we sit right now is if I pan forward my Beast X is in setup mode G which is essentially swash plate leveling. The Sorry you'll be able to see it here. The G light is on and I currently have the purple light illuminated which means I'm setting up one of the servos. So if you talk about setting up the the Micro Beast Plus here um, in step G if the status light is off the servos are at their natural center point so I'm slightly off level here. What we did is we used the natural center point to get the servo arms very close to being on center and then as we cycle using the rudder stick through each of the additional points we're able to do some adjustments to get the swash plate level. What I wanted to show here was a couple of different things. First off, if you set everything up right initially, I'm going to take one of these arms off. Excuse me while I do this. If I rotate the arm so I have the A facing me on both sides, the align mark is currently facing. I'm going to come over here for a second. If you can pan with me for just a bit. Okay, I've got my old Hobby Taiwan swash or, uh, ball link duplicator here. What I wanted to show is essentially center to center on the ball links, dead center here. Sorry, I've got all kinds of stuff in the way while we do this. Center to center on the ball links, I have 59.5 millimeters, which is exactly what the manual calls for with the 700X swash plate. This is the cer cyclic servos to swash plate. If I set this um, link on here on um, with the A facing out you'll notice that I have very good connection right here at 59.5 millimeters. You can ignore the markings on the on the actual duplicator. They don't take into account where the the ball link ends are but using the digital caliper we're able to see we're at 59.5 millimeters between end to end. So I come back over here again. We reconnect this. Now always the A is going out. Have A here, and I've got to turn that slightly to connect to this servo. Okay, now when I level all of the servos out, the point I'm looking for here is the Align provided swash level or the, or the, the Align optional swash level here for the 550 through 800 um, is just a scant bit below the lower hole in the main shaft. So when I rotate the swash plate leveler up on the tips on the ends of the swash plate here, I am just starting to cover this hole. And this is going to get you really close uh, when you start doing the head alignments later. So assuming each one of these links is at 59 and a half starting out with the, the A facing toward you and then you have to adjust them slightly to connect. This is about the point where you are going to be spot on. Now if I come around the side, what I've got here is notice where this cyclic arm is just about centered on this second um, slot in the motor reinforcement bracket. Stay with me here. We're going to rotate the helicopter, laying it over on its side, and if we zoom in here, you'll see that the elevator servo is essentially dead centered in the slot. The arm is across the center of the servo. This means everything is essentially mechanically aligned, and once we rotate the helicopter up again, we're back to the same viewpoint where we've got the swash leveler sitting here. When I come back what I'm going to do is put the head back together and show you exactly how those components set together there.